So, how many miles have we all run this semester? <laughs> <laughs> but, seriously. I'm just kidding. Oh, oh, okay. Okay, well, we, okay, so we need to really focus on what we learned this semester. I think we need to focus on your beard. That thing is nasty. <laughs> Mr. Lynn, that's enough. <laughs> oh, pish posh. Okay, now, let's actually see what we've learned this year. What have you been learning in your wellness class this semester? Ah, well, my students so far, they've learned various things about nutrition and how the body functions and how to take care of it properly, but really, that nutrition part, that's really hammering home, you know, all these kids with their McDonald's and this obesity spreading across America, need a more nutritious lifestyle, cut down on cancer, fat, and hung on healthiness. do this by cutting down on animal products. That's meat, eggs, milk, you know, all that kind of stuff. Because there's a whole bunch of cholesterol in our bodies already and a whole bunch in animals' bodies. So if we add more cholesterol into our bodies, that builds up artery blockage and gives chances for heart attacks and strokes and all that nasty stuff. After one semester in Mr. Lin's wellness slash PE class, I lost 500 pounds. Thanks, Mr. Lin. So, Mr. Sarah, what have your students learned so far in the first semester? Well, we've learned a lot of things this year. Yeah, we've learned a lot of things. I mean, I can't necessarily think of anything off the top of my head. But we were we just learned a lot of things. Just know? face it, Miss Cheryl, we haven't learned a thing in this class. <laughs> <laughs> Man, you guys are funny, <laughs> Man, you guys are so funny. Yeah, we've learned we've just learned a lot of Hey Mr. Z, I have a question. What was that? Yeah, what have your students been learning this semester? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, you see, in our class, we, we learned a multitude of things, um, such as uh, vocab, uh, using commas, about every other college level thing you can think of, and about everything that they can't do, such as using words that aren't even in our language, such as intifada, and things like this. Now, I like to challenge the kids because they don't know how to do this stuff and they need to know how. Such as vocab. We use a wide variety of words. Um, most they can't even pronounce, which is good, because they need to hone their skills. And these words, they use in their writing. If they don't, they get Fs. So, when they do use these words, they need to know how to use them, and which form to put them in. And they also need to know which part of speech they are. Now, this is very hard, but that is very, very, very good. This will challenge them. And also, what was the other one? Oh yes, commas. Now, commas can be used in many different ways, such as, eh, I don't know, about 50 different ways. We only study like four of them or something like that, because they're not that good. So, anyways, you know, they can be used with a parsable phrase, um, different types of clauses, and all of this kind of stuff. But we won't get into that, because it'll take about an hour for me to describe, as it does in all my classes. Okay, so, great reflection, guys. Good meeting. Um, now, as we're wrapping up, we need to really start focusing on the second semester. And Miss Shara, you need to be teaching, okay? Okay? Yes. Now, um, thank you for the meeting, no. guys. Now, it's a chugging contest! 
Mr. Lin, Miss Lin, this is not a teacher playpen, okay? Meeting adjourned.